Hey folks, PC7 here. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to Old Brook Farm and Farming Simulator 2013. We're about to put our new uh, new Cat Challenger 680B harvester up to the test. Now, just to uh, let you guys know, if we have a look at harvesters here under our mods, um, this came with quite a few heads. Now, I unfortunately don't speak German, so other than power flow, I'm pretty much lost behind, beyond this, okay? Um, but the head I originally bought was this one. Um, it would not cut canola, so I'm not quite sure what it's for. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that Sonnenblumen is sunflowers. So this head is for sunflower, and I know maize is corn, so this head is for corn. So, I end up having to sell, la la la, where are we? Um, this head, and I bought this one. This one actually works. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Although it is an R, okay. So, and this is an R. Uh, what exactly changes there? See, I'm not sure what it's telling you or what it can cut. The only other thing I see is a difference is this one is 9.2 meters and this one is 10.2 meters. But you've also got all of this down here. So, and I think this might be like, oh, I don't know. At any rate, that's what we've done. So, I kind of want to uh, see how it handles. The uh, views on this thing are a little odd. This is what happens if you press C and normally would expect to be up in the air above it. You end up on top of the tank here having a look in the uh, auger. So, And you can still see yourself sitting in the driver's seat. Cool. And then if you press again, you get the view you sort of expect to get. So let's start her up. What I've done, you can see I've actually laid grass along the edge and along the back. Not only is it an assist to the hired workers, but for the grass. Because, um, <laughs> yeah. There's not a whole bunch of it that's real close. Oop, I do want the straw. So, um, oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. The cornfield I have now planted in wheat. <laughs> I thought that's what I was harvesting. That's why I was wondering where my straw was. This one, it doesn't look like you actually have that uh, particular option. What is the mouse? Oh, you can uh, raise and lower your the actual rotor on your head. The other head, um, you could adjust the speed. Now I'm wondering if it's just both the R heads are the same, but a different size, and both of the ones that were non R are the same, but a different size. Now I want to see how the hired worker part works here. See how he does. Okay. Um, what do I want to do here? I run the strip of grass, and this is where the field used to have a corner up here. I'm not going to look for a minute and see if he made it. And then continued that way. What I did was ran the strip of grass straight through made a separate field here, and I planted some potatoes, so that we would have a root crop. Because uh, we do have piggy piggies, so we do need our root crop. Oh good, he managed the turn, and he is on his way back. Very cool. Very, very cool. So, yeah, like I said, the cornfield. Um, I did the same thing, I ran a strip of grass all the way around the outside of it just to make it a little more friendly and to give us a whole bunch more grass without having to go too terribly far so there is one field that's reasonably close but I pretty much stripped it dry filling that 
grass machine once, and I also want grass I can make bales out of. Which is kind of easy if you can do it along the edge of a field, because then you're chasing everything in a straight line. You can drag your windrow or your tether or everything else you need to without having to worry about whether you make the corners or not. So, uh... Now that new harvester, the grain will fit quite fine in here. We have a great demand for corn coming up in a period of time. <laughs> I know, I try and be as informative as I can with my series. Um, oops. Skipped right by it. We have piggies in three hours, but we don't yet have any piggies. Uh, corn starts in one day, two hours, and we have, I believe, like 170 blah 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 of corn somewhere, somewhere, here we go, corn, yeah, 171,000, so not bad, we have lots of barley as well, so that's looking pretty good, but the corn is going to help us out, because we need, uh, we need to buy the gear to harvest our potatoes, we have the planter, we have the topper, it's only like a couple thousand bucks. The actual harvester is almost a hundred thousand. That 998 you see in there, that's not real. We actually have about $27,000. So, I was experimenting with the different harvester heads to figure out what was going on. So, as we didn't have enough to even exchange the one that I had, I had to uh, bring money in. So like I said, not a big deal, I'll just pick some hoopedly expensive thing that we can't afford and buy and sell it until we're down to our regular cash. But there's what's going on with that. So, uh, where's this? Okay. Yeah, there as you can see they've got lots of grass so our sheep are happy starting to make a little bit of wool cool good for the sheep way to, way to hang in there sheep alrighty uh, nah. yeah we were just here that's it circled around the three different things okay where's this in the scheme of things uh, pretty much the same place <laughs> Still not the one I want. There you are. Oh. So I finally figured out, see where that milk trailer's parked? Yeah, it's gotta be way back there. Then you actually can pick up some milk, and as you see, we have 14%. So pretty soon I'll be able to go and uh, load some into the sheep fatteners there, or the uh, sheep breeding things, and see all my stack of bales in the back? Isn't that cool? Um, but yeah, I'll be able to get the uh, sheep breeding barn started. That'll be cool. You guys gotta see this. You haven't seen my uh, stack of bales, eh? Boo! Uh, uh. No. Even if I run at it, what do you think? Uh. Well, you can actually make them wiggle a little bit. That's pretty cool, eh? Stonehenge. <laughs> hey, there we go. Yeah, my own stone hen trade here on the farm. Alrighty, well, enough of that. This guy, I think, uh, yeah, he's gonna want a hand here. Um, I believe that this harvester holds a much more realistic 12,000 something as opposed to a million. But he's doing a nice job. Like not leaving those weird bits on the corners and that sort of thing. Especially considering he is actually slamming into that hedge pretty hard when he backs up. He's still getting his rows down really well. Um, the pipe is long enough that you can actually uh, get out there without having to be pretty much rubbing on the side of his uh, header. And it's high enough, this is a reasonably tall tipper, and it seems to work just fine. So, I could probably set him at a little bit faster harvest rate, I'm sure. 
without too much worry. The one thing that other harvester had going for it, I mean besides a million cubic feet of storage, if such a thing appeals to you, is the unload rate was just incredible. Like, you could drive the length of your truck under the pipe and it would fill your trailer completely. So yeah, it was just pretty much amazing, you know? <laughs> yeah. See, watch him slam this hedge. Boom. Oh, you're not stuck, are you, dude? See, like, these hedges, they're horrible. Oh, he managed. Look at that. Good for him. I don't think that I'm going to, however. Nice, so we've got 12,000 canola already. Lovely. Got a nice realistic turning radius. It's not one of these ones where it turns, you know, almost 180 degrees, ignoring the fact that the trailer is now going through the side of the box or anything like that. So that's a nice thing. That's a nice thing. Indeed. So I have not picked up any other mods as of yet. Um, uh, yeah, this is a little bit better spot to be in. What I really want to actually do right now, I think, is grab one of our uh, water trailers. And uh, distribute, as it were. Um, there's the great big one. I thought I had some smaller ones. Hmm. They might already be where we want to be. Okay. Well, let's go there then, shall we? None here? Nope. Alrighty. That's the milk one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, I think we're in the right neighborhood, boys. Yes, sir, there's one. Little tractor just zooms along, too. Pretty nice. All in all, I really do like this little Mercedes mod. It's pretty decent. I've had a couple of the different... Uh, of these particular track turbos. Uh, the 1800, 1600. I think there was a 12 as well. And, uh, yeah, quite impressed. They seem to run really well, comfortable. Of course, again, a lot of it depends on the mod author. Um, the MR one I was using didn't have a whole lot of scripts, but it did the MR thing perfectly, so, you know. All right, so where do you guys actually have your water? Hmm, I'll look around here. It's not around here. Okay, so... Oh, way over there on the inside. Alrighty. Oops. Oops. Mm hmm Come on. little turn this one come on there you go a little more there we are forward ho uh. huh. that gate must have precog it knew we were gonna go in there before we did now well this was the uh Hmm. Alrighty, guys. Oh, I see maybe the blue one, huh? I'm gonna go for the blue one. What do you guys think? Sure. 
Let's try that. Oh, look out, Darla. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh -huh. Weirdo cow? Man, eh? Pretty brave for, like, a cow. Seriously, I mean, really? You let me put some in? New? New? Hmm. <laughs> oh boy, I tell ya. This one? No? No? Huh. Alright, well that doesn't make me too terribly happy, boys. What the heck? Now I know this water trailer works. This is the uh, stock game water trailer. It's worked every time. Oh, there we go. Must be done from this side. Okay, now we know. And you cows will take it all, won't you? Yeah. Ooh. Alrighty. Well, I'm not going to refill it, because we kind of have a bunch of cheaty money on the board right now. So once I'm back down to our normal amount, I'll refill the water, and then I'll go over and do the chickens and do cheap. Do cheap, cheap. So. And it looks like I can go over and pick up a little bit more from our harvester. So happy, happy. And I'm just going to leave this guy over by the water tower. There's also a water station in the yard, eh? So actually what I'm going to do is I'll show you guys that since it comes with the map. I didn't realize it until I'd already placed that tower that there was one so close to where we were going to be anyways. So, um, yeah this great big giant gray unit here that's a water metering station so there you go no issues there so let's just lob our way back over here and I'm going to uh, finish this field off and that's probably about all I will do for the time being like I said, I do want to reach a point where we can take advantage of the great demand on corn, sell some of our crop, and uh, hopefully that'll put us in a position to... Uh, oh, look at that for timing. Put us in a position to uh, get, our, get our harvester for the beets. I haven't found anything special in mods for beets, and I am still looking... And if you guys come across a map you want to see done because it stands out or it has some neat features or whatever, this map is okay. Um, don't get me wrong. It seems well laid out and I realize we haven't dealt with all of it by any means. But, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to offer us too much we haven't seen. And I wouldn't mind doing another MR run once we've... Uh, shown a few more uh, a few more mods etc so but until then i'm going to keep myself busy here for a little while get a few things done that need done and uh, till next time we meet is he stuck this time i may have to lay yet another strand of grass down if we expect to have workers do this no oh oh well, he might have left a little tough that time yeah he did he had to really turn in tight. Huh. Oh well. Maybe it needs a bit of an adjustment. Maybe my hired worker just needs a tune-up. <laughs> but until next time, hey, take care of each other, folks. This has been Species 7, and ciao for now.